panel. Um, uh, Didi, uh, ATF, FBI, Department of Justice above both of those. Eric Holder runs the Department of Justice. Do you think he knew about all of this? Of course, of course. They all know about it. Everybody knows that there was something going on, but they're trying to point fingers like this, and they're trying to wait until November <laughs> to get past the election. So watch for them to push, push, push it back just to try to get away with it. They're pandering to the illegal aliens. They're pandering to the Mexicans. This is pathetic. I mean, you know, our uh, safety is at risk, and they're just, you know, in 2,500 guns. I mean, how do you, how do you not keep track of 2,500 guns? We're not talking about two guns. We're talking about 2,500. And these emails are revealing, Eric, that it wasn't just some incidental guy in the the field who's talking to some random guy in the White House. This is the agent in charge, an ATF agent in charge from the Phoenix office, talking directly to the White House aide in charge of North American Affairs, telling him basically that this program is going on and telling him that the ATF should be having higher level briefings about this with the White House, not sure that, that it's happening. Eric Holder is ultimately going to be held accountable for this. So if he has nothing to hide, he should get right out in front of this and cooperate with the two investigations, one from Congress and one from the DOJ. Hey, hey Juan, Inspector so, General. so far we have the acting director, Melson, at the ATF saying he didn't know about it and then turns out he did when he was cut, when he was busted with an email. Do you think there's a smoking gun for Eric Holder knowing about the program? No, I think the smoking gun is I think Republicans really don't like Eric Holder and they've had, a, they've had it out for Eric Holder over everything from the Black Panthers case to other issues uh, even going after uh, the lawyers and uh, you know, the question of whether or not there should be an independent investigation of the lawyers in the Bush administration who are approving torture and other you know, uh, okay. extremes. Okay, fine, fine. Who's ultimately responsible? Is it Eric Holder? No, I don't think it's Eric Holder it in this case. How have can to you say it. it's not, he's not ultimately re re responsible? He heads the Department of Justice, which oversees the ATF and the FBI. ATF has been weakened tremendously by, guess what, Republican refusal to appoint a permanent director oh, to this critically why. important agency. <laughs> oh, because oh, and that would have that, that would have done it. That, that doesn't that abdicate that doesn't advocate uh, responsibility right. on behalf Somebody's of the attorney general. Someone has to stand up and say the buck stops with me. And if it's not going to be the ATF's director, it certainly should be the attorney general, who, if not complicit, by the way, Eric, should be the first person to say, "I want a full investigation well, to get I'm to the not bottom sure of this." If I'm more upset. That um, Eric Holder saying he didn't know about it, or well, sure, it's that he didn't way. know about Are it. Are you that inept that you don't know what's going on in your agency, or did you know about it and you're just lying? Either way, it's bad. And here's the problem. You know, actually, Juan, I have to disagree with you. It's better that Holder stays there for the Republicans. The longer he's there, the better it is for us. But unfortunately, this is national security, so that's what's most important. All right, we're going to have to leave it there.